Athens, other public projects. During Pericles' reign, there were other public projects being built around the Acropolis, with both public and private funding from rich Athenian citizens. The Theatre of Dionysus, birthplace of theatre and tragedy, was renovated at the southeast side of the rock. Pericles' conservatory was built on the left of the ancient theatre. Theseus' temple, which was so named because it was believed to have been founded by the mythological hero Theseus, was really in honour of the god Hephaestus. Also, a number of sacred places and grand buildings were constructed mainly in the center of the city, later named the Roman Agora. The Temple of Olympian Zeus stands on the southeast side of the Acropolis and is easily spotted from the sacred rock. The tyrant Pisistratus set the foundations of the temple in 515 BC. During the Athenian democracy, the temple remained unfinished. Firstly because Pericles was more concerned with the works on the Acropolis, and also because constructing such a huge building was considered hubris. The temple was finally finished in 129 to 131 BC from the Roman Emperor Hadrian, a big admirer of Greek civilization. It was constructed from pentelic marble, was 96 meters long at its sides and 40 meters long on the east and west sides. It had 104 Corinthian style columns, each 17 meters high and 2.6 meters in diameter. Hadrian was the one who dedicated the temple to Zeus. In the work surrounding the Acropolis, we must note the Herodion Theatre, which was erected on the southeast side of the rock in the 2nd century BC. It was funded by a very wealthy Athenian, Herod Atticus. Plays are held there to this day.